So this question is a diagram question. Again, any question that provides any visual input, I'm gonna call a diagram question. In this case, what we have here is a table. So I always pay attention to the diagram before reading. So it looks like we have three columns here. The first column is for bank, uh, APY, um, and then total interest earned in 18 month term. And then we have different banks, bank A, B, C, and D, what their APYs are or their interest rates. And then the amount of interest earned in that, at that bank over 18 months. So the information here says a certificate of deposit CD is an investment account in which money is deposited for a specific amount of time called the term. The investment earns a guaranteed yearly interest during the term. The table shows the annual percentage yields for CDs with a term of 18 months and the total interest earned on an initial deposit of $2,000. That's very important. So I'm going to just write that down. $2,000 is my initial deposit. So my initial money in at four different banks. Interest is calculated on the total balance of the account and added to the account after each day. So it is... It's a daily interest, right? So just writing down the things that are important from what I'm reading here. So the question here says, what is the range of the, I don't know, this must be a typo, of the total interest earned in an 18 month term by the CDs at the banks represented in the table? What is the range? So for the total interest earned, we're looking at this second column or third column here. The term range, means we want to take the highest value, right? So the highest total interest earned, subtract the lowest total interest earned, and that value should be the range, right? Range is always the difference between high and low. So what is the highest total interest earned? It is the $60.91. So this becomes 60 91 minus what is the lowest earned? It is the bottom of the chart here, which is 1960. So 1960. We just go over to our calculators and find the difference. So 60.91 minus 19.60. And what I get here is that that range is $41.31. And therefore, the correct answer here is choice C.